Under new Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga, Japan is all set to demolish China's Belt and Road Initiative in Southeast Asia. Japan's new Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga is making it clear that he will give absolutely no breathing space to China. Called a foreign policy novice after he succeeded Shinzo Abe, Suga was being seen as someone who wouldn't be able to replicate his predecessor's success in checking China's growing influence. But Suga has now hit China where it hurts the most. Suga is directly attacking Xi Jinping's flagship foreign policy instrument, the Belt and Road Initiative in Southeast Asia. Recently, Suga visited Vietnam and Indonesia in what was his first overseas visit as Japan's Prime Minister. By the end of his tour, it became clear that Suga is going to demolish China's BRI in the ASEAN region. Laos and Cambodia, two of the most vulnerable countries when it comes to Xi Jinping's BRI, were on Suga's radar. Suga is also looking to create a Japanese parallel to the BRI in other Southeast Asian nations like Myanmar and Thailand. Suga has shown that he understands how critical countering the BRI is in order to hold back China's expansionist ambitions in Southeast Asia. China has been investing heavily in Southeast Asia under the BRI. And as we already know, the BRI is not what China projects it to be. The BRI has no soft power angle to it. Rather, it is an exercise in Chinese usury. The Xi Jinping administration uses BRI for doling out commercial loans and then using them as instruments of coercion by debt-trapping weak economies. Take, for example, Laos, a Southeast Asian country which is today buried under unsustainable Chinese loans. The paper dragon has today occupied the Southeast Asian nation's national power grid, even as Laos struggles to avoid defaulting on Chinese debt. Similarly, the BRI is overpowering Cambodia too. In 2019, Cambodia's debt-to-GDP ratio stood at 30.09%, largely due to Chinese debt trap diplomacy. Such excessive Chinese economic influence is dangerous as it gives Beijing the option of manipulating governments in strategically located Southeast Asian nations like Cambodia. The political regime in Thailand too has been warming up to China's BRI even though the people of Thailand remain averse to growing Chinese influence. China is looking to push the BRI in other Southeast Asian nations like Indonesia and Myanmar, though these countries continue to resist predatory Chinese investments. Suga has, however, come up with some magnanimous plans to offer Southeast Asia a viable BRI alternative. While delivering a speech at the Vietnam-Japan University in Hanoi, Suga said, as I see it, the official development assistance in combination with investment from Japanese companies has been instrumental in ASEAN's sustainable development, as if they were the two wheels of a cart. Promising further assistance in infrastructure development in the region, the Japanese Prime Minister added, a typical example of ODA cooperation is infrastructure development, which enhances the connectivity of the region. This means building social infrastructure conducive to economic growth such as ports, roads, railways, airports and industrial compounds in an open manner and connecting them across national borders to form economic corridors. Suga also said, examples of this cooperation include the East-West Economic Corridor and the Southern Economic Corridor running through Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand and Myanmar. Japan will continue to support ASEAN countries' endeavours to strengthen mutual connectivity within the region and develop together as the entire region. And Suga's outreach to the ASEAN has instantly brought rich dividends for Tokyo. Cambodia's Public Works and Transport Ministry spokesman told Khmer Times, We still need Japan's assistance. Currently and in the future, Japan will continue with infrastructure projects in the kingdom. He added, Recently, Japan has just provided the Ministry of Public Works with machinery to help develop the infrastructure sector. Japan's Foreign Minister Toshimitsu Motegi too on Friday pledged an emergency loan of 25 billion yen, which is equivalent to $237 million, to Cambodia in order to support the country's economy which has been battered by the coronavirus pandemic. Motegi also telephoned his counterpart in Laos and said that Tokyo will support the Southeast Asian nation's efforts for independent and sustainable development, including its battle against coronavirus.
Sugar has himself pledged low interest loans of 50 billion yen that is 473 million dollars to Indonesia so that Jakarta can battle the economic fallout of the Chinese pandemic. Suga is therefore shoring up Japan's soft power in the ASEAN and making Southeast Asian nations realize that there is somebody ready to give them economic aid and develop their infrastructure without exploitation. Suga is directly demolishing Xi Jinping's BRI in Southeast Asia, even as Tokyo looks to kick Beijing out of the ASEAN region.